Hello and welcome back to another episode of Home and Away. You may be wondering where I am at the moment. I'm in the middle of a rugby pitch. Why am I in the middle of a rugby pitch, you may ask? BT Murrayfield? No, we're not going to see rugby today. This is an interesting one. For all you hockey lovers that have already watched my clan game, Glasgow clan, if you've not already, go and check it out. Today marks a special occasion. We are going to see the Edinburgh Capitals. The Edinburgh Capitals, they are back for the first time in four years and tonight marks a special occasion. There is Murrayfield. There is Murrayfield Ice Rink. Before we get in, I'll give you a quick preview. Let's go. So, before we get in, let me tell you the story about the Edinburgh Capitals. So, the Edinburgh Capitals used to compete in the UK's top ice hockey league. Ice hockey is the hardest sport in the world. I love it, and I'm going to show you exactly why I love it in a minute. But in 2018, the Edinburgh Capitals went out of business, unfortunately, meaning they were no longer. Everybody thought that was them gone, and in came the Murrayfield Racers into the ice rink. After four years, the Capitals are finally back. They've got their stage, and they've got their ice rink back. Today marks a monumental occasion. Unfortunately, they're not in the EIHL, the top league, but they're in Scotland's National League. It's a start. And if they can get the league, they've brought in some great players again, they've brought in some great legends from the old club, they can get back to the top stage. This is a start. This is the Edinburgh Capitals. I am absolutely buzzing. Let's get in there and see what the fans think about the club finally being back after four years. What a buzz. Let's go. Before I go inside, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Fanbase for covering this event. They are covering the ticketing for the Edinburgh Capitals and they've sorted me out for tonight. If you don't know about Fanbase, let me tell you a little bit more. Sports clubs up and down the country are growing and understanding their audiences, using Fanbase to digitalise their presence through a variety of ways such as digital ticketing, hospitality, memberships and even more. With Fanbase, you can grow your audience digitalise your club's presence and you can even do it all for free. How about that? It doesn't get any better than that. Your club can get a full digital ticketing system for free. Well, if you would like to get involved or you would like your club to get involved, I will leave the link down in the bio. Fanbase is here to help your club digitalise and modernise. So we're in the ring, we're here with Ian. Ian, you've obviously got the Capitals jersey on, back for the first time in four years. What does this mean? Well, it's very important because I've been coming to Murrayfield since we came down from Aberdeen yeah. 37 years ago. Mad. And I haven't missed too many games. And life, <laughs> life sport is so important to me yeah. and the rest of the family yeah. just watching live sport. And that's why my daughter came up from London. You came up from London to, to see, see the Capitals coming back? tonight. So it shows obviously what it means. Have you missed the Capitals? I've missed the Capitals, yeah, yeah. But just the local team. And it's very important to support your local team. Yeah, and obviously and big pause is happy as well. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about the club coming back and getting into this, the Scottish National League? Oh, I think, well, it's very important because we've got a nice big ring, yeah. big ice pad, and it's very important in this area to have a, a regular ice hockey team. Because the... it's well known historically yeah. for ice hockey. It's massive, obviously, the Capitals. I used to go and watch the clan, and the Capitals were always rivals with the clan. They're a massive club. Do you think they can be challenging for promotion this year? I know you've not played a game yet, but the size of the club. I, I don't have any doubts whatsoever. Yeah. There is only one reason to play here, and that's to win it. Good stuff. So that's very important. Well, we can see the players are out just now, OK? I'll let you go on with it and enjoy the game. I'm here with James and James Jr., the, dr the drummer, as we can see. Yes. Are you here to bring the atmosphere tonight? Yeah, you're ready to say let's go capital to for being a while, eh? It's been a while since <laughs> So, what does it mean for you both to be back tonight? Brilliant, it's never ever thought we'd be back here. I never thought we'd be back here. 
Yeah, the right shot in, you know, you never thought we'd see the team on the ice again, so it's just brilliant to me that. It really is. No. Uh, yeah, so the Capitals are back. We finally got your club back. How monumental is this for not just Edinburgh, but for Scottish hockey? It's great because we need the Edinburgh Capitals. Uh, uh, Capital City, we have not had the team for so long. It's unbelievable. So we need, we need to be back. And I'm glad we're back on the ice. Yeah. And are you going to give us a song? What are you going to sing? Let's, Let's go, Capitals! Let's go! That's it! <laughs> hey, guys, buzzing for you to be back. Enjoy your night, okay? Well done. So, we're here with another Capitals fan. What's your name? Hey, Jack and Steve. Jack and Steve, okay. Tonight, the first time in four years, the Capitals have actually made it back. Aye. What does this mean for you? Oh, uh, massive, massive. Uh, for me, I'm always a Capitals fan. I didn't go to another game, so it's massive. Eh? It's, uh, I mean, it's in, in the world, you know what I'm saying? The wrestlers are gone, the Capitals are back, you've got, you've got your ring back. Exactly. Aye, exactly, I mean, this is to say, um, this is the uh, camp to my team, so I have to have them back in home ice, it's fantastic. Have this place open again, it's brilliant. I am here in Murrayfield Ice Rink, we have got a beautiful wee bar, we're sitting with Craig, or some people may know him as Terrace Trails. Craig, quickly just talk to us what, what you do on Twitter. I do on Twitter, so I, I set up a Twitter back in August. I guess after all the, the COVID lockdowns and stuff, I got into routine and go to a lot of non-league football games. Yeah. So rather than just kind of cover kind of Hibs games, or Hibs season ticket holder, just covering a lot of the non-league games, going to a lot of these clubs, giving them that kind of exposure. I guess giving a bit of promotion to the clubs and showing how, how great they are at what they do and, and their, how community-based they are as well. Tonight, it's not football. It's not We're here good. at the hockey. Yeah. Talk to us about the Capitals being back for the first time in four years. Over the men, absolutely over the men. So, as I said, I've, I've been into football, you know, all my, all my life and stuff, like watching football. But Edinburgh Capitals, I think, going back about, I don't know how many years, but eight, it was probably about eight or nine years, I, I went to one ice hockey game, it was Edinburgh Capitals, and then I met a bunch of guys who I'm still friends with now. And I used to, that became part of my routine. It was like go to the football on the Saturday, go to the ice hockey on the Sunday. So I'm absolutely delighted that the Edinburgh Capitals are back. And um, obviously they they, uh, they disbanded a few years back, but they're back. And uh, this is brilliant for Edinburgh as well. It's great to see the ice rink full again. So yeah, absolutely buzzing, mate. And they're back in Murrayfield ice rink as well. It just adds it doesn't take. They're back to their home. Everything's back to normal. Yeah. But talking about back to normal. Can they get back to the AIHL soon? I think it's going to be a long road. I think it's going to be a long and bumpy road. Yep. But I've, I've got full belief that the Edinburgh Capitals will be an elite league side again in the next five years. Yeah. Time will come where they're knocking on the door. At the moment, it's good just to have the Capitals back at the rink. But I think, you know, hopefully in the next, you know, as I say, three to five years, they can then start thinking about applying for the elite membership and... I think it'll happen and I think it'd be great for Edinburgh. We've missed the Capitals. It's great that they're back, mate. How cool is this? So we're in the bar. You can sit and watch the hockey from the bar. But if that's not good enough, you can sit in the bar and watch the hockey out here. Look at the lights. Let's get in there and see what happens. The Edinburgh Capitals are back.
it's game time. Let's go. Let's make some noise! A little minute's applause for our Capitals fan Eddie who passed away. Rest in peace Eddie. The Caps are back. Let's hope they do it for you tonight. Capitals are back. Let's see if we can get a victory. Come on. For the first time in four years, the Edinburgh Capitals are facing off in Murrayfield Ice Centre again. I've got myself something to eat. We've got a burger and a can of 7-Up. I'll give you a review at the end, as I always do. But for now, it's all about the hockey. Whoa. First chance for Edinburgh. Nearly again, Caps are dominating the moment. Back goes to the links. They're the league leaders for a reason. What a goal! Who know? Very easy for the links. The attempt's going to video assistant referee. We'll see if it's a goal or not. Go! Who know, links? Not the start the Capitals wanted. Officials have ruled it out, no goal. I do not know how. Still 2 0, it remains. Handbags, handbags. No fight, but give us a fight. Come on. Officials split up before we can get a fight. Shocking. Five seconds left. Can they get a goal? Quickly. Shoot. Shoot. Up. First period over. Oh. No matter the score, it's so good to see this club back. The fans are showing it. We're back out, but the game's been delayed at the moment. Uh, there's a player with concussion, so we can't play the game on until they know he's safe. Hopefully the game will get started soon, but there's a doctor on his way down just now, so just a waiting time until we can get the game back underway. And we're back underway. Let's go. Three now. Lines on the break. We get a third. Looks like it's game over now. It's the league leaders racing to a three goal lead. You can see the difference in the teams. The Lynx, top of the league for a reason. They're clinical. Every shot they've had they've scored. Capitals still look a wee bit rusty. Obviously it's our first game back, but... Good fight. We'll see if they can get a goal. Wow! He scored from behind the goal. 
how's he done that? And off the keeper, I think. And it's 4 now. The links are on their way with this one. Second, and the Lynx get their fifth. This has turned into a hammering. Not good. Finally, the Capitals have got their goal. Look what it means. And it's 5 1. They may not be back in it, but they've got their first goal in four years. Underway for the third period. Let's see if we can get two goals. Big ask, but they've shown they can do it. Oh. Captors are starting the front line, waiting for their goal. Sweet the links now. Looks as if that's game over now. Couldn't get a victory on the game back, but on a monumental occasion. 
10 goals. What a night. Unfortunately, no one's like Capitals. Well done to the Lynx, they've proven why they're league leaders. No matter the score, how good is it to see the Capitals back in hockey action? Well done. Then top 51 of the match. That brings an end to a monumental night. The caps are back. I will see you back at the house for a full review. And we're back. Edinburgh Capitals. It was my first time and it definitely won't be my last. What a performance. Aberdeen Lights, they showed their power and they showed why they're the league leaders. But for the fact that Edinburgh Capitals and their first game back in nearly four years, nearly came back from five goals down. What a performance and the fans, you were just as good. Let's get into it. You know how we do. If you already watched my videos, five factors I'm going to be reviewing on the Edinburgh Capitals match the experience. Let's go. So first of all, how was the hockey? The first period, terrible. Second period, halfway through it, even worse. But out of nowhere, the Capitals just found a rhythm. One goal, two goals, three goals. And within, what, five minutes, they were back in it from five goals down. It was one of the craziest matches, not even football, not even hockey, any match. One of the craziest matches I've ever seen. Ten goals and a near five-goal comeback. I'm easily giving this a ten out of ten for hockey. In terms of price, last night the event was covered by Fanbase, who are my sponsors. Fanbase, they're on the ticketing for the Edinburgh Capitals now, and Edinburgh Capitals are not the only team. If you've not already, go and download their app. Um, but yeah, last night, if you were paying to get in, it would have been £11 to get in. That is a fair enough price, yeah, £11, I'm liking it. I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10. For atmosphere, right, this is the one that surprised me. So... Let me tell you something, if there was any factor in that near comeback last night, it was the fans. Wow, the Edinburgh Capitals, I didn't expect any atmosphere to be honest. I felt I was going to turn up and it was going to be people coming back, but people would be a bit rusty, obviously not being there in four years. The connection was straight away. The Capitals fans knew they were back last night and wow, well done Caps fans. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 for atmosphere. In terms of food, last night... It was the first game back, but there was only one hot food option on the menu, and that was a burger. And it wasn't even a cheeseburger, it was a plain burger. Ah, uh, it wasn't the best, um, but when I did bite into it, it, looked, it tasted totally different to what it looked. This burger was really, really good. Um, you know a good burger when you taste one, and last night, that was a good burger. Um, so I'll let them away with it. Next time, I'm, they did release a tweet saying that they're going to improve their cafe options. So next time, hopefully they'll have a couple more options. Um, but just teething them now, so I'm going to give them a 7.5 out of 10 for food. For facilities, so we know the ice rink is right next to Murrayfield, Scotland's biggest rugby stadium. Um, and yeah, it is an old, old arena. You can tell you've got the padding on the sheets. It's got uh, leathers and staples and stuff on it. Yeah, you can tell it's an aged arena. Um, an AIDS building, but they've done really well to make it a cosy home. They've livened it up a bit, they've put new stuff in it, they've modernised it a bit. I like it. It felt a bit like an American college ice hockey game last night, I don't know why, just because of the, the oldness of it, but it, yeah, there was something about it I liked. Um, it was like a historic American college ice hockey building, so for that reason I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, that is me for another week. Let me know if you enjoyed that video. It's the second ice hockey video on the channel. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more, leave a like so that I know. If you've not already, click subscribe and let me know where you would like to see me go next. Hockey fans, if you enjoyed this, let me know which hockey club you would like to see me go next. I am going to be going international this weekend for our very, very special cup final. You may enjoy this one, but... I'm going to leave that a secret. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.